Hi guys, hope you're doing okay. Natalie here from The Hair Secret. I promised you a video about how to apply your tint to your roots, so here it is. Um, excuse my hair, because I left it quite yucky today, because I thought, right, let's show you basically what it's gonna be like. So, um, what you're gonna need today is obviously your tint. Now, I cannot stress enough how actually I'm not a massive fan of box dyes, but I know the situation is that you're not going to come and see us for a little while. And I know a lot of you are going to be stressing out about your roots. So I do appreciate the fact that you are going to go and get a box dye or whatever, whether it will be, you know, tints of nature, whether it's going to be your normal traditional hair dyes. However, if you can go organic, definitely go organic because then at least you know you're going to be putting the least amount of chemicals on your hair. Um, also, I must stress, please patch test. No matter what brand you go for, please just patch test for me. The last thing that we need at the moment is people to be having massive reactions and then going off to um, hospital and then Lord knows, you know, we, we the NHS doesn't need that at the moment and you, got, you guys don't need it as well. There's also other options you can go for as well when covering your roots. I'm gonna be doing another video, another post about how to temporary cover your roots as well. Uh, that's by using organic powders and spices like turmeric and cocoa, matcha, you know, all these different powders whilst mixed in with a, um, a like a, a pink clay. Um, I'll go through that in another post anyway. So that's gonna be coming up soon. So let's get down to it, okay? So today I'm literally, I'm gonna be just teaching you how to dye the front section of your hair. So through this panel here, here, um, I mean, unless you've got somebody who can do the back of your hair for you and you show them this video, that's absolutely fine. Get them to do that. So what you're going to need, um, first of all, is obviously your dye. Please read all the manufacturer's instructions on the back. So they're going to be different development times, um, different ways of applying it. I think sometimes it depends. Um, so please have a little read of that to make sure you understand that. Um, I really would like you to have a watch near you as well. So once you've finished doing your um, routes, you'll just turn the watch on and then you're timing yourself. So then you know there's nothing, you know, leaving it on too long and then you end up with black roots instead of brown. Okay, so first things first. Okay, got my kim, got my brush, got my bow. Okay, so um, you'll notice that I'm not actually going to be applying anything to my hair. I'm one of those lucky ones where at the moment... I said at the moment, by the end of this, this kind of outbreak, I'm probably going to have loads of greys. Um, so I'm literally just going to be parting it and showing you how to apply it. Okay. So, yes. So you can use this method as well if you wish to. Say you've got semi-permanent or something like that. Um, I don't know. You want to dye your hair pink. You can use this method as well. Um, is what I'm showing you. Okay. So what we're going to do first is you're going to mix up your dye first. <clears throat> you're going to make sure you're, co you're covered with a towel as well. It's very important. You make sure you've got your gloves. Um, I haven't got the gloves on today just purely for the fact that I'm not dyeing my hair. But you need to make sure you wear gloves. Um, I wouldn't recommend not wearing gloves if I'm honest with you because you end up staining yourself. But also you're, you're coming into contact with more chemicals as well. So what you're going to do first of all is you're going to give your hair a good brush. So we're going to give your hair a good brush. Then you're just literally going to section it off like this. Nice section. Make sure you've got a mirror in front of you as well so you can see what you're doing. You've mixed the dye up. This looks incredibly attractive, as you can tell. And then all you're gonna do is I want you to start from this back section here, from your crown, and literally apply directly to the roots like this. Now, depending on your roots, that you have, you can have a small amount, you can have a big amount. You literally only want to be covering your roots. Don't put it on to the rest of this hair, okay? Because what you don't want to do is end up having banding. So when you come back to us, we've got your roots, this new color, then darker color, and then your next. Because what will happen is you put that color onto the color that's already there, I guarantee you it will go darker because obviously you're leaving it on um, colored hair. Okay, so that's the way it works. So you're going to be mixing up. You're going to work from the back here, okay? And you're going to work your way all the way forward like this. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. So once you've done that strip here, you're then going to almost give yourself a hot cross bun. Okay, so you do it like that. Okay, so this will go from here to your ear. Here to your ear. Now, I appreciate people like me who wear glasses. God, I look awful in the centre parting. Um, 
uh, this is going to be quite difficult for you. So you will end up getting dye on your glasses because obviously you need to be able to see what you're doing. But it's all worth it in the long run. So you're going to pull this forward and then you can do exactly the same. You use your dye and you go like this. Can you see? Okay, so when you get to this bit, you'll notice how difficult it is actually to colour your hair yourself. So that's why I'm only saying just do this bit and maybe your crown, just for the time being, just until you come back to us and then we'll take care of it. Because fingers crossed, we'll be back in a couple of months. So you'll do the same here to both sides. It's almost like a hot cross bun. So you've got two sections here. Do it there. Okay, then what you're going to do is each individual section, you're just going to pull up very finely and do that. And you're basically going to go all the way down. Okay, so you'll do the next one where you apply it like this. Again, just your roots. And you're going to continue that, can you see, all the way down to this bottom two here. Okay. And then you'll do exactly the same this side here. So it comes down. And then you'll do the back. Now, if you tend to find sometimes when you do um, get your hair coloured that you've got to be a little bit careful around your hairline, maybe start at the background first. So you do your section in pattern so it goes like this. Because some clients, unfortunately, they, their hair takes quite quickly. You've got some clients who they're, this is really stubborn around here and you do actually have to use it, go onto it first with a dye, so it has a little bit extra time. And sometimes, some clients, it takes so well that actually it looks really quite dark around here. So maybe start at the back. So you've done your two sectioning off. And when you get to this back section, just pull this up and just go into this area. So you've got your brush and just dab it in like this. Now this is where you'll probably find you'll need someone to help you, or if you don't have anybody to help you, then you will navigate by yourself. That's why, again, don't do the back. Just literally do this crown section so at least you've got something through this area here. Okay? Um, then you'll probably find, because you've been doing it down in these sections like this, that you'll find that this area gets covered automatically. But if you need to, then you pull it back and you literally dab a little bit on there. Now, try to not... See, my beagle in the background. <laughs> you'll try not to get it onto your forehead but I know it'll be really quite hard to do that okay and then at this point you'll have to take your glasses off whoa, and then go in through this area here okay. now if you've got cotton wool it's something we do at our salon please remember to put some cotton wool around your ears or maybe just get some tissue because I know everybody's got lots of toilet tissue at the moment haven't they <laughs> they all stockpiled it um, you could put that around your ears here to actually stop your ears from be getting dyed, but also stop them from being sensitised. Um, so what I mean by that is sometimes um, skin dye reacts differently on your skin opposed to your scalp. Your scalp seems to be a little bit thicker than your skin on your on your um, your face and in other areas. So yeah, just be a little bit a little bit careful around your ears and everything. So then you'll leave on to your development time, whether it's 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Remember, it's not going to be the same as what you're sitting in the salon. In the salon time can be take anything from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on what colour that you use. I will guarantee you that won't be the case with these colours. These colours tend to be formulated, actually, to work quite quickly. So if you end up thinking, oh, it's really resistant, it usually takes me ages in the salon to get it dyed, don't listen Make sure you use the manufacturer's instructions. If it says leave it on for 20 minutes, leave it on for 20 minutes. Nothing more. Otherwise, all that's going to happen is it's going to end up being quite dark. Also, with application as well, you need to get on very fairly quickly. Because if you do uh, leave on too long in one area, you might find it goes quite dark. So this is why professionals do it. And, you know, that's why we're not a massive fan of box dyes. Purely because it is actually quite tricky to do. But at the moment, what else can you do if you've got horrendous roots and you feel nap and you want to feel a bit better? I get it. That's what you want. And also remember, no matter what happens, we are here to actually help you when you get back. So don't worry. OK, um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that there's not going to be that many colour corrections and not many problems. I'm hoping that you would have, um, you know, got some out of this video. Oh, oh, my brush licked um, and that it was all right. But yes, okay, right, um, I'll leave you guys to it. Get back to dyeing your hair. Oh, another thing, um, in your box, sometimes they'll come with the recommended shampoo and conditioner. Um, if it's an organic 
product like tints of nature or something like that use it because i know for a fact they won't have any silicones or anything in there if you're using it from a traditional um color um i would probably recommend maybe not it depends on what's in their actual products if you look at the back and it says it's got silicones and stuff in it or plastics you know it's it's kind of hard to um to make out the ingredients sometimes in these products then probably stay away from it just use your normal um shampoo condition that you got from us um but again if you're using a product that's organic and it specifically says for you to use the shampoo first then dye it then um wash off and do that then just do it that way okay well i hope you guys are staying safe stay well and i hope you're doing okay and i look forward to seeing you all soon and uh, reopening the salon take care